uh, Francis, a former Attorney General and now the country's chairperson of its National Committee on Constitutional Reform, preparing that country for its own referendum, has been meeting with key stakeholders here in Antigua in the movement to the Caribbean Court of Justice. Uh, Dr. Alexis, a former Attorney General in Grenada, and now the chairperson of the country's Committee on Constitutional Reform preparing Grenada for its own referendum has been meeting with key stakeholders in the movement to the Caribbean Court of Justice here in Antigua. Dr. Alexis' experience is wide and in fact crucial in the case of what Antiguan Barbuda has to put in place by way of certain key provisions before the referendum takes place. Certain measures will have to go through Parliament well ahead of the time to vote. So you're talking essentially about three different kinds of instruments, different but related, namely the bill for amending the Constitution, in the case of Antigua Barbuda, you can call it the CCJ bill, then you have to have the referendum machinery bill, Constitutional Referendum Act, and then you have to have the detailed regulations. So my duty here is to talk to the leading stakeholders, let us discuss what these provisions are likely to be, especially the ballot paper, on the way forward to referendum. Uh, the amount of work may very well take the date for the referendum beyond the anticipated time frame. In listening to Dr. Alexis, you get the sense that the committee may very well need some more time. As a matter of fact, you know what we had to do in Grenada in relation to the ballot paper alone, we had to call in Dr. Lloyd Barnett from Jamaica, who in turn called in the Australian provisions. So we looked at Australia, the Bahamas, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We looked at your general referendum act here in Antigua Barbuda. We looked at the Bahamas. In fact, this year you might be interested to note. You can call 2016 the year of the referendums and elections. Dr. Alexis feels that while a monumental effort is required, the desired result will be achieved if the nation moves towards its ultimate goal, step by step. Andy Lybird, reporting for ABS News.